good day to you, my friends. This is the female that the Democrats wanted in charge as the President of the United States of America. What the F is wrong with you idiots in the Democrat Party? You're not fit to work at McDonald's or pick up my garbage. Enjoy this video. She is 20 plus million in debt. Kamala Harris's campaign has ended in financial turmoil, according to multiple media reports. Despite raising over $1 billion, the campaign has reportedly finished at least $20 million in the hole. According to a Politico reporter, two sources say Harris's campaign is now $20 million in debt after raising over a billion and still having $118 million in the bank as of October 16th. FEC filings confirm the Harris campaign had a total of more than a billion dollars raised, spending approximately 900 million of it by mid-October. But three weeks later, even that 100 million left over was dried up and then some. In contrast, Harris raised twice as much as Trump. FEC filings show Trump's campaign raised less than $400 million and still held a cash reserve of $36 million. Breitbart News also spoke with several sources inside the Harris campaign, who confirmed they were now $20 million in debt, largely pointing blame at campaign chair Jen O'Malley Dillon. A campaign staffer told Breitbart, people didn't like working with her. Many people on the campaign felt like we lost because Kamala wasn't allowed to run her campaign. They were running Joe Biden's campaign instead of a Kamala campaign. Obnoxious and very much a gatekeeper and interfering with the vice president's people who were trying to do their job. Inside the campaign, staffers were reportedly unhappy with the handling of finances, with some still allegedly waiting on overdue payments for their work. Where did the $1 billion go? A large portion on advertising, nearly $700 million, according to the ad tracking company Ad Impact. A six-figure ad blitz in October was spent on flying banners over four NFL games in swing states, according to the New York Times. In November, in the final days leading up to the election, the campaign spent nearly half a million dollars a day to have ads displayed on the Las Vegas sphere in the swing state of Nevada, according to The Guardian. Campaign staffers who spoke to Breitbart also attribute the drain of dollars on high-profile concerts featuring singers like Katy Perry, Lizzo, and rapper Eminem. The staffers say that was one of Dylan's ideas. According to staffers Breitbart spoke with, faced with $20 million in debt, Harris's deputy campaign manager is reportedly shopping Kamala Harris's fundraising email list to anyone willing to pay in an effort to recoup the campaign's losses. Thanks for watching our news update. For more stories that matter to you, download the Straight Arrow News mobile app or visit us online at san.com.